Welcome to the Mindfulness of Singing, and I'm Denise, your sassy, spunky scientist. And I'm Tony, your bubbly, big-hearted flower child. Our podcast features practical tips and tools for a journey of transformation using the healing power of your voice. Each podcast, we will delve into the mind, body, and spirit connection by interviewing inspirational guests, sharing personal stories, and discussing the most recent scientific research. Tune in and join our community of mindful singers. Hi. Hey, Denise. Hi. Hello, world. <laughs> we're together. Yeehaw. Yeah, we're together. And we're together for a reason because Miss Thing over here has come to my rescue. If you don't, if you can't see, I am in a Oh, you're listening. She's showing a cast. I'm showing a cast. Um, I had reconstructive shoulder, shoulder and bicep surgery. Um, Don't recommend it unless it's absolutely necessary. Just watching the process. No, two weeks ago. I'm two weeks out. So yay. And it's part of the reason, honestly, why we have not had as many podcasts. And it's because I have been really handicapped and been unable to sit at a computer for very long without being in immense pain and um, and also only being able to do something with my non-dominant hand, which is the left hand. And it has a mind of its own. It likes to do all kinds of things that I don't want it to do, or it lacks the ability to do all kinds of things I wish it would do. But the good news is- Like type, right? Edit a podcast. And those little, little minor little, details. Little minor details. But as a result of that, our team has grown and we have a new uh, person on board for the mindfulness of singing to help us grow and move forward so that those things that are challenging in Denise's situation and things I don't want to deal with and someone else can pass on. So we're She's happy young. To, She's a youngin. A youngin. So and we're happy to, to, to drum roll. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell who, we, who she is and we're going to mm-hmm. keep that a secret mm-hmm. till we post her picture. We're glad to have Sienna Lindsay. Sienna is a music business student at Radford University, where I teach, and she is uh, doing her, spending her internship with us. So she's doing all of our social media. She's doing our editing of our um, of our podcasts, and we uh, love having some young, new energy in the mix. And great to have her on board as we start accelerating and getting our mojo back. Yes. And, you know, moving forward past this baloney. Tony's been my physical therapist, my cook, my my maid, my cleaner, my soundboard, my therapist. She has been all of it. So if you paid any attention to our newsletter in January, our January newsletter, and by the way, if you don't have that, go to our website and just when the little thingy pops up, just do it, even if you don't want the thing we're offering so that you can get in the mailing list, right? We're going to have a new thing we're offering soon, but we'll tell you about that later um, when, it, when, when you can actually get it. Uh, but, it, it, you know, you just you just go on there and you put in your email and you'll get our newsletters. And Once a month. We don't want an yeah, No, we don't. We can't. Nobody. Ain't nobody got time for that. And the left hand. She is not like that. She right. is not like typing or writing. Anyway, so, um, but it's it's good stuff. It's mind, body, spirit, three things that we think is worth talking about. Or And you may there may be some other links in it to other things if you want to do some deep dives. But really and truly, we try to keep them short and sweet and just kind of let you know maybe what the podcasts are about this month, that month, or whatever. So we're not going to inundate you with stuff because... Lord have mercy. Now, I nobody has. I time. wake up every morning to 95 emails that I'm like, delete, 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 delete. And, you know, we want to have value for you. We don't want to just be filling your email box with stuff just absolutely. to be filling it. So absolutely. So tell them what was in January. A little teaser. January was all about how Tony and I do not like or participate in the resolution New Year's resolution, um, cultural phenomenon. Ma, as I say in Italiano, but that doesn't mean we're against the idea of change and growth and development. We're all about that. 
but we use different strategies. Yeah, and I think if you are a kind of person who can make some resolutions and you have found that that by doing that, you actually keep them and you do them all year long, then man, you are so much better than I am. And go you are it. a super person. But I have seldom kept maybe one of my resolutions. I've seldom kept a list of resolutions that I've actually really done. Life gets in the way, things happen, it, you know, it, it's hard. It's really hard. And we, we're we acknowledging the difficulty it is to make changes. So we, we, and this is not our concept, but a lot of people are talking about this. We decided to adopt a word. And Tony has her word for the year and I have my word for the year. And I think you can totally do this in regard to your, your musicianship, your singing, you could add a word, whatever. But if you're trying to overcome something technically, vocally, you could even make that part of your word, your word. So Tony's word is. I will tell you my word, but before I tell you, I want to tell you the backstory. Tom because stealing my thunder. No, I want to tell you because I want to make it difficult. No, because uh, <laughs> I think it's really important not to just randomly choose a word because everybody's choosing a word. No. And mine should be growth or whatever, choose a word that really is going to resonate with you. And this is a practice that I've been doing for several years through a faith community that embraces choosing your word for the year. And I really didn't have my word until I came to Denise's. And uh, this may sound a little weird, but it was in the shower. You know, sometimes we get ideas in the shower, but I was taking a hot shower and I went to switch to cold because we both embrace cryo and cold therapy and ther thermogenesis. And for some strange reason, I thought instead of immediately switching all the way to the cold, I just gradually switched. And I went, oh, my gosh, that's so much easier because you, if you've done that before, you know, when you immediately switch to the cold, your body has a fight or flight and many people will just back up. And, and when you do it cold, gradually, it's like cooking the frog in the pot. Exactly. You don't really feel it. And then all of a sudden you're in this or crab freezing mm -hmm. cold water and it feels great for me and uh, not for everybody. But that's a much easier way to do it. And what I've learned about myself at my young age, um, it took a few decades to figure this out, that I tend to, and Denise has pointed this out to me lovingly a few times, if there's a complex way to do something, I can find it. That's my superpower, but it's not a superpower I want to embrace. And so at that moment, I thought, I know what my word is for the year. I really want to stop slow down and focus and ask myself, no matter what I'm doing, whether it's music or just life in general, is there an easier way to do this? And so my word for the year is easy. And some traditions uh, encourage you to write it on a stone or carry it with you or meditate on it. But I would encourage you to think about what what is your word? What is it that you want to change? And let that overarching thought uh, invade everything that you do. So for me, it's easy. And Denise, why don't you share your word? Or if you have a comment about my word. Well, I'm, you know, uh, I was just going to say, you know, if I talk all the time in, in voice lessons, that if, if things don't come from a place of ease, that it's not correct. So if you were a student trying to, trying to find a mindful way to, to sing um, and to be cognizant of something technically you're working on, I think ease is a great word because if your singing doesn't come from a place of ease, then there's something not quite right about something's not quite right, you know, so. In fact, when I taught a lot, I used to have an easy button. And anytime someone did something that was really good that we've been working on, I would hit that easy button and it became something that they really got a lot of joy out of. In fact, when I would go and do master classes, some people would say, oh, I'd love it when she hits the easy button. As a reminder, what Denise said, it really should be mentally come from a place of focus. We're not saying that singing is easy in the sense that you don't have to concentrate, but it shouldn't be. Uh, how, how, shouldn't feel difficult in the throat. Absolutely. It shouldn't feel difficult in the body. It, it, it may feel difficult in the way that you have to think about it or that you have to focus or really concentrate on it. Change is never easy, but from a uh, acoustical uh, place, from a physical place within the body, you should not feel like it's hard or it hurts striving or you're straining it should come from a place of ease so that's that's one way that you could use the word easy right but for some singers and for some individuals choosing the word easy 
might be the totally inappropriate word. Sure. Because maybe you're such a laid back personality that there's no energy in your vocal production. Easy's not going to be. So this is where it comes to mindfulness, to sit, meditate, do some breath work, read about choosing your word for the year and really get in tune with what fits for you. So easy is a great word for me. But would I recommend that for everybody? Heck no. There's some students that easy would not be the right word for them because they need to be energized and energy is not something I'm lacking in. So Denise can testify to that. <laughs> so let's move off of me and let's get your word because we, we do want to keep this short and sweet. So what's your word for the year? Denise? Well, for me, you, the word of the year, of course, has to do with recovery and, and me feeling better because it's 2021 was a very painful year, um, you know, for all of us in many ways, but physically I've lived every day, every night, sleepless nights in physical debilitating pain all the way down to my tip of my middle finger from all the way up here. So I'm, I am ready to embrace no pain, but that then, you know, it's a, it's a, it is a, um, as they like to say, shit runs downhill, if I may. And it did. I, I couldn't work out. I, I had to depend on other people to help me cook. And I'm very particular about the way I cook and what goes in my food. And, and so I, if my husband put sugar or canola oil in our food, I either had to choose to complain or gripe and not eat it, or I had to choose to eat it. And because of that, I've put on a little bit of weight. I'm not as healthy as I was a year ago. And it's all been because of the, the, the pain and having to just kind of um, let go and let whatever happens happen um, when people wanted to do something for me and let that, and, and what's the word I'm looking for when you release? Re, no, not release, but sort of, it starts with an R. I can see it. I can hear it, but I'm, 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 not I've sure been on oxycodone. For. So, uh -huh. um, uh, you know, like just relinquish surrender, to control, re surrender. Embrace. That's a great word. Surrender to surrender. let to to let people help me, and even if it was not something I would normally eat, I it, it just you just do it right. So anyway, I not being able to move, not being able to do the things, I can tell that I'm weaker in my body. I can tell that I'm weaker in my, you know, vocally. I'm just weaker than I was, you know, a year ago. So this. This word for me this year is strength and regaining my strength. And once I'm out of this ridiculous sling, uh, it's going to all be about building back up the strength in this arm, building back up the strength in this arm, doing something more than walking, um, being able to get back to the gym, being able to like, when you're in pain, trust me, you do not feel like singing. I did a recital and it was very good, but that was you know, something I really had to sort of push myself through and I enjoyed it. But at the same time, I was also very glad when it was over because I was not, when I don't sleep well, and I think everybody's like this, when you don't sleep well and you're in chronic pain, mentally, you're not in a great place. Right. And so I have kind of had to fight for my own mental health too, because there were some days that I'd be like practically in tears saying, I'm ready for them to cut, just cut my arm off, just cut it off. I don't need this stupid arm. And, you know, that's not a good place to be. So I want to be mentally, physically um, stronger this year. So as soon as I can, and as soon as I'm able within reason and not to put myself back into a place of having another injury, taking care of one day at a time, becoming stronger and being back into a place where I feel good. My body feels good. My clothes fit better, but I, I feel good physically, you know, so. But I think you hit on something that's really key is being aware and mindful that strength would not have been the appropriate word for you this year. If you'd been like, I'm going to push through this, I'm going to be stronger. You just imagine what physical condition. So once again, it all comes to back to awareness of where you are for that moment, yeah. that place. And so we pushing look, through is what got me where I am. Exactly. So that's not the one for most people. So uh, share with us what your word is. If you, if you feel encouraged by that and sometimes putting it out there, 
helps us grow because it holds us accountable. Some people need to keep the word to themselves because it's too personal, too private and something that they need yeah. to work through. So that comes back to mindfulness again. So uh, easy and strength, that's Tony and Denise, and we're back, glad to be back. And just a little announcement too, in addition to welcoming Sienna, we, our February newsletter is going to have some love lists and some fun things. So go ahead and subscribe. As we said, it's just once a month and we hope it'll give you some tools to help you grow. So let us know about your growth and we'll share with you about our ease and strength. Anything else, Denise, to sign off? I'm good. I'm good too. And we hope Happy you're great. Year. Cheers to more singing. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening. We are very grateful that you joined us today. If you like this podcast, please subscribe, write a review, share it with a friend.